All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's brother from the GMS or Colin Camp back for another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Bahashim. Bakar Kodash. Bakar Kodash. Double honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstorm, teaching us warm saying truth according to the Bible well, and peace and blessings to the flight of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. We want to get into the Lord's will and edifying lesson on seeking the Lord. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, uh, uh, have a commandment wherein Yahweh Shema Shai has commanded you to seek him. You see, to find out his ways, find out the things that please the Lord and do them and to serve the Lord. You see, with fear and trembling, because the fear of the Lord, you know, is what's going to drive away your sins and turn away the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai that's being heightened in these last days. You see more people, you know, are, are, you know, getting ill. You know, this ailment that's going around, this scandemic, you know, more people are catching it. You know, and we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. You see, you're getting reports of people who are, uh, you know, who are feeling, uh, you know, a little under the weather after they go and, and, and get the, uh, the test kit. You see, so... We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, you see, but Yahweh Shema Shai have commanded us to seek him, you know, so in this time of Jacob's trouble that's fast approaching, you know, you may have some type of comfort and protection from the Almighty, you see? You got it, bro. Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. This is Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children. Yep. For I am married unto you. You got it. For I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. That's right. So turn or backsliding children, for I am married unto you. What does that mean? You know, oh, can you got Isaiah uh, 30 and 20? It said, turn thou backsliding Israel, for I am married unto you. You see, that it means to repent, to turn back. To Yah by Shema Shai, you know, and uh, the way that we would uh, turn back is via the teachers, via uh, the men that Yah by Shema Shai has set up to preach this word. You see, because we are, are married, you know, that's why Yah uh, said, Go ye therefore into the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. That marriage is us being uh, joined back with the Heavenly Father via the medi mediator, you know, via Yah Shai. Um, go ahead and get that uh, other priest of a call for, and then we'll go back. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Go ahead. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Yep, so even though we're catching this hell, we're under the curses, we're, you know, we're going through all this adversity here in Babylon the Great, we're bearing our cross, Yahweh Shema Shai is not going to, uh, uh, you know, he, it, this is a time where he's, he's about to magnify his word. You see, he's about to bring his word to pass, and before he brings it to pass, you know, he'll have men tell you of these things, so when it happens, you know that it was the Lord that have done these things, that the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, uh, may receive his glory. You see, but thy eye shall see thy teachers. You know, who's doing the work? You know, a man may be known by his fruits. You see, so the actions, you know, the diligence that the men of Great Millstone are given, you know, is evidently clear who the Lord is really dealing with. You see, uh, the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and thou shalt hear the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So the messengers are out there, you know, giving you warning, telling you to repent, to turn back before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Because really, the famine, the word, you know, is coming. You see? Keep reading, brother. Mm-hmm. Verse 21. And thy ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Mm-hmm. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Yeah, and that's why the scriptures say, Have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out into all the earth, even unto the ends of the world, because ultimately the, the prophets are everywhere. You know, everywhere you turn, 
you know, when you walk through the, the cities, you know, you, there there go those Israelites again. You know, when, when, you start, when you're on the web, there goes those Israelites again, you know, telling you to return, to turn back to Yahweh Shema Shai to repent. Because you have, uh, like it tells you in Isaiah 53, we all, we all like lost sheep have gone astray. You see, uh, yeah, you know, and here it is. We went astray and Yahweh Shai said, well, I came to save of that which was lost. You see, so, hey, if you acknowledge that, you know, that we need Yahweh Shai and shine, that we're lost, you know, then you got to return. You know, we're wandering. You can't be wandering in this valley of the shadow of death because it, it's going to devour you. You see, that was it in um, Isaiah 30. You can go back to uh, Jeremiah 3, unless you had a precept. No, that's it. I'm going to go back to Jeremiah. Can I read uh, verse uh, 14 again? Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, save Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. For I am married unto you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I'm sorry, brother. So, yeah, um, we're married unto the Lord. So, that's why, that's that. That's us being bid to the marriage, that, that Matthew 22 and 9. You see? Go ahead. Peace up real quick. You got it. This is uh, Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a commonly and delicate woman. Mm-hmm. That's right. So the the uh we you know in the eyes of the heavenly Father it is likened unto a woman, you know, and a woman's duty, you know, if you look up the word woman in the online etymology, you know, is a female servant. So in our duty, we're supposed to be serving our husband, you know, in order for us to serve, you know, because we went the whoring, we were whoring after idols, so we got kicked out of the land, you know, kicked out of um, you know, we we lost who we were. You know, but now it's the time that Yahweh Shema Shai is allowing us to return this grace period via the sacrifice, you know, of, you know, Yahweh Shai. You see, so we can't take that for light, you know, that sacrifice that Yahweh Shai has done for us. You got it? Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 14. I'm sorry. Because it tells you, uh, I'm sorry, brother, because it tells you in Isaiah 53 as well. How that of the Lord, um, Yahweh Shema Shai has laid upon Yahweh Shai the chastisement of of us uh, of us all. You know how he had borne, our he had borne our, he was born of grief. You know he is a uh, stricken. You know he is chast uh he is chastised for our sake. Let me see if I can get it. You can keep reading. Are you there, bro? Um, yeah, I got it, Isaiah. I got it, Isaiah. Come on. Uh, the Isaiah 53? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This, um, You can start verse this, 4. 4? Yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Surely he had borne our griefs. Yep. And carried our sorrows. Mm-hmm. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Yahweh, and afflicted. Go ahead. But he was wounded for our transgressions. You see? So the Lord was wounded for our transgressions. You know, so, you, I mean, you got to honor the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai has made, you know, by, you know, not taking this grace period lightly. By not taking the times that were coming in lightly. You know, it's about confessing, you know, uh, Yahweh Shema Shai and understanding, you know, that, that, was, that wasn't a light thing with... What the Lord and, his, and the only begotten Son has done for us, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You gotta understand, the Heavenly Father gave up His only begotten for us. You see, and Yahweh Shai, he 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 had to go, he had to carry that that burden, that cross. You know, the the sins of all Israel. That's not a light thing. That's not a light. Uh, that's not a light cross. You see that Yahweh Shai has carried for us. Go ahead, brother. He was bruised. For our iniquities. Mm, go ahead. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Mm-hmm. And with his strife we are healed. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. You see, so look, through him we have peace back with the Heavenly Father. You see, it says, and through his stripes. You know, we are healed. So Yahweh shall suffer, you know, suffered, you know, for our sake. 
you know, and all those that live godly in the Lord gonna, are going to suffer persecution. Yeah, you're going to catch hell, you know, when you depart from evil. But, you know, it's the thing that you should be doing. It's, it's the right thing to do, you know, because if you confess the heavenly father, uh, uh, the Yahweh Shai before men, Yahweh Shai is going to confess you before his father that's in the heavens. And right now, you know, we're coming to the the hour of temptation that everyone's faith is going to be tested. That's why Yahweh Shai said what? When he comes, shall we find faith upon the earth? You see, um, that was it. Um, I'm gonna get. I got a quick priest up real quick, and then we can finish out that uh, Jeremiah, and we'll close out on um, Isaiah fifty-five and six. This is Isaiah thirty-three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. You see, it's talking about the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Bible. It's what's going to keep us uh, stable during these times. Look at that word stable. It goes into faith. You know, our faith is what's going to keep us, say, our faith in the promises, our faith in what the Lord has written in these scriptures, the prophecies, how, you know, that a remnant will overcome. You know, we follow this, uh, these instructions that we're going to win. You see, that's where our faith is lying in the Yahweh Shema Shai and his word. That's what that's going to lead to the strength of our salvation. It said the fear of the Lord is his treasure, you know. So us fearing Yahweh by Shema Shai is a treasure, you know, where we can go into, you know, and cash out during the times of temptation, knowing that there's a heavy judgment, you know what I mean? But um, if we don't obey the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, um, finish out that Jeremiah 3 and 15, bro. And then um, Isaiah 55 and 6, and we'll close out. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 and I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding mm-hmm yeah and those pastors you know are those teachers that you would see you know doing the work you see uh, uh, to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word is because there is no light in them you know, if the thing which the prophet follow not, that is the prophet in whom the Lord did not send. You see, so you got to understand that, um, you know, with the Lord, you know, he's making it evidently clear who he's dealing with by the words, you know, which they are speaking. The prophets that have been before us, you know, they, they prophesy war, evil, and pestilence. So it's, it's, it's being made clear who the Lord is dealing with day by day. The, the, uh, the Lord is declaring you know that that we got the truth. We got who got the really who really got the light. But go ahead. You want me to go to sixteen? Um, no, you can get Isaiah fifty five. Okay. Yeah, we just um, you can just read um verse six and then we'll close out. Oh, we'll, okay. we'll read six and seven. All right. This is Isaiah chapter fifty five, verse six. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashimal Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Go ahead. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh Bashimal Shai, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. That's right, that's right. So, while the Lord may be found, seek the men that he has given this knowledge to, you know, that are, that, are, that are showing you the example on how to do this thing, how to do this thing right. And that's the apostles and elders of the great millstone. You see, the men on down, you know, teaching teaching our people the correct way. Isaiah 58 and 1, you know, showing our people where they're going off at. You know, warning them of the evil times to come. You know, and if you return unto the Lord, you forsake that way, you know, this way of life that Babylon the Great, uh, you know, promotes, you know, that will lead to you, uh, you know, the Lord abundantly pardoning you, you know, you being under the sacrifice that, uh, that Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, you see as that lamb, uh, without spot and blemish, you see, but, um, Lord's willing, you're edified, you know, with that, we're gonna, uh, say Shalom. Shalom.